Run for the Show podcast. Um, well, I got the call from, uh, I was actually on a photo shoot for Ludwig Drums. They were doing a big photo shoot of all the endorsers, right? So all the drummers from that time, and that was 1980, uh, were there. Ginger Baker and uh, guys from Foghat, Aerosmith, my brother, me, uh, who else? Uh, um, Ainsley Dunbar, you know. And then uh, my wife got the call. She goes, yeah, somebody from Black Sabbath called. I went, really? Well, I was in Chicago. I live in Los Angeles. So I got the number and I called back and they said, yeah, we're looking for a drummer. We heard about you because Bill Ward left the Heaven and Hell tour in the middle of the tour. They were playing Denver and Bill didn't show up and had to postpone that date for mm -hmm. a later date. And, uh, you know, I said, well, I'm back in town tomorrow. He goes, well, you want to come down and meet Tony Iommi at the hotel? I said, sure. Mm -hmm. So. That's how I got the call. And I went down and Tony had an album that I did with a band called Axis, a three piece power trio. Right. Produced by Andy Johns. And it's really good drum sound on it. And he had that album with him checking me out. So I met Tony. We got along really well, hit it off. And he invited me to come down to the, to the rehearsal. This is in L.A. Uh, the next day. So I went down with my little Ludwig drum set hmm. and. Uh, set up i met ronnie geezer jeff nichols was on keyboard so we played uh first song was neon nights i didn't really know it but i knew it was uh, you know da -da 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 -da, is that kind of tempo and there wasn't much of a stop there was one stop in the song so it's yeah. easy to beat through it yeah i, so, I totally uh, got you there yeah uh, you, you go oh i could play this through the whole song and just follow what i hear after that there's no hates or accents really until you if unless you want to get into the really into the song yeah and uh then uh played a couple songs and they said uh, well cool you know you able to do this i said yep <laughs> and we had to rehearse we had like uh four days rehearsal t total so i had to spend every waking minute listening to the stuff because the first day they were so happy they found a drummer we played a little bit and then they all went to the pub <laughs> sounds about right <laughs> yeah to celebrate and i'm like where you go when you go to the pub? So I stayed back with the keyboard player, Jeff, and we went over stuff. And I think one day, uh, it happened two days where they went to the pub. Hmm. And then Ronnie stayed there with me and helped me out and stuff. And then, then they were getting nervous in the last two days, of course. Right. Yeah. So, it is a big thing. And I guess as Bill Ward had been with them since the beginning. Yeah. I guess they were, they were, they must have been a little bit nervous a little bit scared um well by the time the last day uh came along we were, that was the last rehearsal it was like uh, okay tony and geezer were really nervous because they never played with another drummer yeah that's true other yeah. than bill you're right wow. yeah so this was a big thing not only you got a new drummer uh and and the first gig was thirty thousand people forty thousand people at aloha stadium in hawaii wow so you're dealing with this big gig, new drummer, and you never played with another drummer. <laughs> so they were really nervous. So, you know, I went for lessons for three years. I could read drum music and stuff. So I wrote out charts, you know, visual charts. And they weren't, you know, proper charts. It was just like, okay, who counts off? And then uh, it, it would say verse. It would say, okay, stop on two and things yeah. like that. Very okay. visual. Like a cheat sheet, I would call that. Cheat sheet, a cheat yeah. sheet, yeah, kind of thing. And that got me through it, except when it started raining and the book got wet halfway through the set. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And then it had Not, to, I look oh over and I go, oh. So then we had to wing it the last <laughs> half of the set, you know. Crazy. Did it did it go down well, though? It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the it fan. was one of those things, you know, where you're playing. And you go, I, okay, the end's coming up, but you maybe go around one more time to relax a minute <laughs> here you know that kind of thing okay you know wow and oh, they man. were used to playing it a certain way obviously they've been on tour so tony's ready to go to the ending and i'm like you know let's keep going one more one more <laughs> round you know? yeah 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 well i'm sure over time that, well. yeah over time then that became you know they were just used to the way you're doing it you were more familiar with the songs and the structures they were doing yeah so it, yeah i'm sure it was great and obviously 
well they kept asking you back <laughs> by the sounds yeah. of it so uh so, yeah uh, i've been back yeah it's so funny because you know then that lasted a while and then uh, then after that we formed dio but uh, along the history of my career i've been asked back to sabbath about four times you know where it didn't work out with other drummers and uh so it's very interesting uh yeah, it must, repeats itself, you know. Yeah, you must be very proud of that as well, you know, considering yeah. how much of a legendary band they are. And yeah. they they obviously, obviously, I guess there was always, especially back then, they must have been that. Well, Bill is the original drummer; he is the drummer. Mm -hmm. But and then, but they trusted you to kind of give it a go, and you obviously did yeah. very well. 